In these problems, we are looking at linear equations, and that is equations that can describe a straight line. And the simplest, most basic one of those would just be y equals x. That would be a straight line going at about a 45 degree angle. It would go through the origin on the graph. Its slope is 1. Its y-intercept is 0. So that's the simplest equation of a line. In this first problem, they're asking you to pick out which of these equations could be a line, and there's only one of them. And the rule of thumb here is that the x needs to be just to the first power. So if you look at c down here, we have y equals 11x squared plus 5. Well, you should recognize that by now. That's a quadratic equation, so it's going to have that u shape, not a straight line. So basically, any power other than 1 is not going to work, is not going to create a straight line. So let's look at these one by one. We've got y equals 12 over 11x plus 5. And if you see the x down in the bottom of a fraction, what that really means is that the power is a negative 1. So in this case, the power is not 1, it's negative 1, so that is not going to be a line. Here we have y equals 11x plus 5 over 12. Now here, the x is on the top of a fraction, and so that's just the power that it is. So that is x to the first power, and that looks like it would work, but let's check the, uh, the last one here. This one has y equals 11 twelfths x to the negative 1 plus 5. Aha, uh -huh. so x is to the negative 1 power. That's not 1. That's not going to work. So our correct answer here is this one. I know it can get a little confusing with the fractions, but x needs to be the first power. If it's in the top of the fraction, okay. If it's in the bottom of the fraction, you know it's to a negative power. A couple other things we want you to know about linear equations is that um, there are some standard forms. Well, there's one that's actually called the standard form. And then there's another one that's called the slope-intercept form. And, and that one is particularly useful. The standard form goes like this. You have some number, I'll call it big A, multiplied by the x. And this is on the left side of the equation. You have uh, another number, I'll call it big B, multiplied by y, also on the left side of the equation. Then your equal sign and then whatever other number you have over here. So it's going to look like that. And they don't like fractions in the standard form, and they don't want the x uh, term to be negative either. So that's your standard form. Let's see what we've got uh, in our answer choices here. They, they want us to f uh, determine which one of these is in standard form. This one, we have a y on the left side and everything else on the right side. Well, that doesn't work. We need both the x and y on the left side here. This is actually in that slope-intercept form. B, let's see, it has the x and the y on the left side, the number on the right side. That looks pretty good. Let's look at the others, though, first. In C, we just have the x on the left side. That's not going to work. I need both the x and the y on the left side. Here, we have x and y on the left side, uh, but we also have the number on the left side. And in the standard form, number needs to be on the right side. So it looks like B is our correct answer. That's standard form. And then the last one here uh, has slope-intercept form. And this one, I think, is particularly useful because it gives you the slope and it gives you the y-intercept. And you get a, an equation into this form by solving for y. So y is going to be over on the left side all by itself. There'll be some number. We usually call it m. And that's the slope that's multiplied by the x uh, term. And then whatever number you have here, and we usually call it b in this form, but that represents the y-intercept. So y equals mx plus b. So let's see which one of these fits there. Here we have the x and the y on the left and a number on the right. Well, that's standard form, so that's not going to work. Here we have the x, the y, and the number all on the left. That's not going to work. We're looking for the y alone here. Aha, c has y alone. We have uh, negative 5, 6 times x, so the slope of this line is negative 5, 6, and then we have plus 7, so it crosses the, the y-axis at a positive 7. That looks like the right one. Let's just check d, and d's got x alone on the left, so that's not going to work for slope-intercept form. And c is our correct answer. So that's a little bit of work with linear equations.